What you guys got another video here for you if you want to uh, create a windows to go usb flash drive or external drive then you're going to need to have the windows 10 enterprise or windows 8 enterprise uh, version of windows and the problem with that is most people don't have that sort of money to have uh, the enterprise level you can also use the windows 10 education uh, level to uh, create a windows to go but other than that if you have windows 10 home or pro or any of those you won't be able to do it so i'm going to show you a way you can create a windows to go uh, with isis um, to do backup and it's a pretty straightforward and easy way to do it so we're going to take a look at it in this video so first off you're going to need to get the software you want to head over to isis.com and uh, you can get the windows version here and download the free trial you get 30 days free trial so download that and install it and you'll be good to go from there so next up you're going to need to get yourself a drive and i've got myself a 236 gigabyte uh, drive here you can see it has got content inside here so i will need to uh, format uh, this drive so let me just quickly format this drive there we go the next thing we're going to need to do is to uh, delete the volume as well so I'm just going to go into disk management so go down to the bottom uh, left hand corner and click on right click on the actual uh, start button there and go to disk management from there we've got disk management open and you we should see your drive that we want to use to uh, do our windows to go what we need to do here is make sure we've got our c drive and if we go to disk zero here and go properties you can check properties here for the volume you can see it's using the partition table gpt this means that the other drive that we're going to be putting windows to go on needs to be a gpt as well now if you are running a drive which is not GPT and it is MBR, then you need to convert that. So you need to check here um, for your drive to make sure that it is the same. So that is the same for me, but if it isn't, I'll show you quickly what to do right now. Okay, so let me just quickly show you what to do. We're gonna go down to the search here and open up the command prompt by typing CMD in search, right click here and run this as administrator or you can run it from the right hand side there this will open up our command prompt box here let me just quickly zoom in here okay so now we need to type in here disk part this will open up the disk part tool now we can type in here list disk and basically this will uh, show us all the disks on the computer we're interested in disk 2 here this is our windows to go to uh, drive which we're going to be using type in here select disk 2 or whatever drive yours is now we can type in our next command which is convert gpt and then push enter and this will convert that drive uh, to gpt okay and that's pretty much it so we've done that now we can now test and see whether our drive has been converted so let's close that part off now if you want to close this off without force closing it there you can type in here exit which is the proper way to do it really and uh, once you've done that you can also type exit to come out of the command prompt okay so now we can right click on the drive and go to properties to test whether it is being converted to gpt go properties then volumes and you should now see uh, that the volume is now changed to GPT which is the same as Windows so it needs to be identical whether it be MBR or GPT they need to both be the same okay for this to work correctly so now we can uh, install our software and get this up and running and start to install Windows to go okay so we have now got two drives that are running GPT the next thing we need to do now is to delete the volume for this uh, drive so I'm going to right click and just delete volume and you should have unallocated here that's fine so we can close this now and open up the ESUS to do backup and once you're inside here you want to come down to the bottom left hand side here where it says system clone so click on system clone 
And now you can see it says source is our Windows 10 uh, drive, which is our Windows 10 system, which we are on now. And now we need to select our target drive, which is going to be our disk two. And you can see here, this is it right here. So we're gonna click on here. Next, we're gonna go into advanced options here, and we wanna make sure that we've got the create a portable Windows USB uh, drive selected here. Now, because this is an SSD, uh, I'm going to optimize it for SSDs, but if you are running just a normal standard uh, drive, mechanical drive or USB flash drive, then you don't need to have this one enabled. I'm gonna click OK here, and then we're gonna click on proceed. So you can see here, Windows 10, target to go into the target disk which is disk 2 which is this one here so click proceed and it will say here please create a WinPE emergency disk in tools and then try this feature again create now now this step is not essential but you have to do it otherwise you won't be able to continue on to the next step so just click create and create your emergency disk which is an ISO and then we can continue uh, with the build of our portable Windows 10. So what we're going to do now, we've created our rescue emergency ISO. So I'm going to go to the Windows icon here again. We're going to go to our drive, which is our target drive. And also make sure we've got Windows, you can see Windows 10 here, going to our target disk, which is number two which is this one down here. Make sure that you have got optimized for SSD if you are using an SSD on your system. So for instance, the SSD will be the target drive that you're using, which is what we're putting Windows onto. And that's what I'm using here. If you're using just a standard USB flash drive or any type of drive like that, a mechanical drive, then you won't need to have this ticked. Also make sure that you've got create a portable uh, Windows USB drive click OK and then we can click on proceed here and this will start to clone the system over to our flash drive or um, our external drive or whatever it is that you're using as your target drive so I'll just leave this uh, to clone across and you can see here it's just starting to initialize and do its stuff now so I'll come back when this is complete Okay, that is now complete, so we can click finish. And that did take a fair while to complete, but we should now have our drive here. So what you're looking at here is your Windows 10 A colon and Windows 10 C colon. The Windows A is the one we've just created, and it's copied the Windows and all the content across to that drive. And uh, all we'd need to do is change the boot order to this uh, drive and it will then load up and boot up uh, to that drive so as you can see it's a fully working drive which means all the changes that you make on that drive will be stored and saved and you can use that system as you would be using a normal standard uh, Windows 10 system on any computer so it's useful for that sort of purpose so if you're looking to create a fully functional Windows 10 operating system on a USB flash drive, an external drive, or an external SSD drive, then this is how you do it using the ESIS to do backup tool. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's helped you out. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.